Today, boys and girls, we're going to be taking a look at this. What is this? Yes, it's another vape pod, but it's a vape pod you guys have all been asking about, and it's called the Suwarn Air Plus. Very big vape pod, if you ask me. It is on the bigger side, but it's flat, and it's very, very, very light. All the chick vapors watching right now, the chick vapors and the dudes that wear tight pants, you're going to like this, because it fits in those tight pockets with ease. And like I said, very, very, very light. She's got a built-in 930 milliamp hour battery, which for the size of this thing kind of surprised me. I thought it'd have a bigger battery, but it is very flat. Yeah, it's flat. So I see why it's got a 930 milliamp hour battery. But I tell you what, she comes with two pods. That's right. You get two. That's a big pro to me. You get a 0 0.70 free base pod for your lung hits. And you get a 1 ohm Nick Salts pod for your mouth and lungs. Oh yeah, and this puppy chucker holds about three and a half mils of juice. That's a lot of juice for a vape pod system. And another thing, she's got a freaking USB-C port at the bottom. So this thing charges up pretty darn fast. About 45 minutes when she's completely dead. But the big question, the big answer today is how does she vape? How does she vape compared to other vape pod systems? Before I answer that question, I'm gonna dive down I'll show you this puppy chucker up close to personal. We'll come back. I will vape and I'll tell you. And then I'll tell you where you can get it, how much it is, and all that good stuff. And we're going to wrap it up. All right? <laughs> Let's go. All righty. So here's the packaging. The Suwarin Air Plus comes in by Suwarin. And inside that packaging, of course, you're going to receive your Suwarin Air Plus. Comes with a USB-C cable to charge it. You get an extra refillable pod. And last but not least, a bunch of informational cards. The three color options I've personally seen for this puppy chucker is the matte black, the matte red, and the matte silver. And if we put the Suwarin Air Plus up next to this Orion Q, as you guys can see, it is a little bit taller. It is wider, but it's not thick. I mean, this thing is like thin. And it is light. A lot lighter than this. So the Suwarin Air Plus, she's got a built-in 930 milliamp hour battery, okay? It says Suwarin Air Plus on this side. What does it say on this side? It says Suwarin. Like I said, all of them have matte finishes. All the color options I've seen. At the bottom, you got a USB-C port. That's right. USB-C port to charger. And when she's completely dead, it takes 45 minutes to charge her up. And like I said before, and I'm going to say it again, this thing is super duper light, man. It's made of aluminum and plastic. You got your pot up top, plastic trim, and then aluminum. Aluminum panel that wraps around on both sides. And for how big this thing is, man, she's flat. Really flat. Great for pockets. Tight pants. So you got your pot up top, right? Pulls out like so. It's going to come with a sticker. Just pull that sticker off. As y'all mother chuckers can see, you got your two connections in the middle, and then you got your fill port. Got a magnet over here and a magnet over here. Now to fill it up, like I said, this is your little plug. It's got this little tab over here. You just grab a hold of the tab and then pull her up. Nice size hole too. And this bad boy holds about three and a half mils of juice, guys. Of course, when you're done filling her up, you pull the tab up and you plug her and you're good to go, man. So one pod reads 0.7 ohm. This is for your free base juices, your regular nicotine juices. Oh yeah, and at the top on the corner, that's your hole. That's where you're going to be taking a hit. And I got to say it's super duper comfortable all this is going to be subjective and i'm always going to point that out but i think it's comfortable man i like how the holes on the side over here so yeah you got a 0.70 ohm pod you got your cotton in there your round wire build here's what the other side looks like of this pod Everything is nice and clean. Personally, I can easily see the level of my juice in here, even though it's tinted. Now, here's the other pod you receive for this. That's right. You receive two pods for this kit. That's a big pro to me. And this pod reads one ohm. This is meant for your nicotine salts. Same thing at the bottom. Got your fill port. This fill port's red. And then your connections, your magnets. And then at the top, you got the hole in the side, just like the 0.7 ohm. And this also holds about three and a half mils of juice. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this puppy chucker up. And it is easy peasy what a sleazy to fill her up. You really don't have to tilt it. You just push. Push and squeeze. Again, you want to flip this tab up and then press fitter. Like I said, guys, easy peasy to fill her up. And when you fill her up, you want to let her sit for a good 5-10 minutes. Got to let that cotton in there soak up all the juice. Of course, here's what the inside of the Swarm Plus looks like. You got your connections and your magnets. Now, I will point this out. I've been using this thing for about two weeks. And over time, juice, a little bit of juice will pull up in here. And that's just because the uh, fill slot's at the bottom of the pod. It's not bad, but it's something to point out. Go ahead and press fit my pod in there. And like I said, it's magnetic and press fit. And the magnets are pretty strong, but they're not the strongest magnets I've ever seen for a vape pod. I'll put it to you like this. You're never going to have any issues with this thing popping out but like i said they ain't the strongest magnets again watch this it's not sucking it in there but you can feel it so this puppy chucker's got an automatic switch no manual switch so as you pull on it it's gonna fire up and you're not gonna be able to see this on camera but it's got a battery gauge on the side it's got lights so when all lights are lit up that means it's fully charged again you're not gonna be able to see it it's way too faint and to me that's really the only con that i found for this for a vape pod i wish i could see these lights more easily but to be honest with you man you'll feel it as it dies off and another thing i really like about this it's got that matte finish all of them have the matte finish so it's not a fingerprint magnet big fan of that but yeah the big question the big answer today is rip how does she vape? Well, I'm about to show you. How about that? Oh, yeah. Juice. 
the juice I have in here. It's something called Nana's Mother Chuck and Cream. It's something I cannot get away from. I've been vaping on Nana's Cream for a good week now. It's an older juice. I vaped it up before years ago, but I'm stuck on it again. Nana's Cream, banana pudding. If you like good old fashioned banana pudding, you know your grandma's banana pudding. Oh, you're going to like this Nana's Cream. And you get on over at Vape Trick, V A P E T R I K. Use code V I P, capital V, capital I, capital P. You get 10% off of it. Or anything else on Vape Trick's site, vapetrick.com. Check it out. Out. So yeah, baby, got some Nana's cream in here, vaping on the one-owned pod, which is the Freebase pod, and I'm gonna do me a lung hit. Let's go. 